I want to do a quick catch up on what's been happening since we last spoke um, in terms of Chris. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and cry. I think I've basically just like done my bit of crying now. So um, we went away, so Chris, um, I can't remember when I last posted when I was really upset. I think it was the week when Chris had come off the interferon and was kind of withdrawing off it and he was really, really poorly. Well, after that, he got better. He he really improved. He still had like headaches and stuff, but he was like full of energy and playing with Sebastian. And it was wonderful. It was like, like normal. Um, and he booked us a surprise trip to the lakes, which was lovely. And we went and it was a wonderful, we had a wonderful time. Sebastian was the one that was difficult and we kind of made a decision that next time we go like on a little holiday depending on what the holiday is and what we do we may actually leave Sebastian with my gran with his grandma because he kind of appreciated it to a certain degree but didn't he was just more difficult than anything um it was hard work but anyway so yeah so that was that um however when we got back um he had some blood tests and his plate oh no so before this before we went on the trip um we got the results of his recent blood test and just in that one week or is it a week and a half that he had not taken the interferon alpha his platelets had gone up by um nearly 200,000 i think it was so um normal blood range i can't remember what it is i think it's between 150,000 and 300,000 or something. Chris's is usually, well, when he was diagnosed, is like 1.5 million. So when it went down to like 700 and stuff, that's like a big improvement, but it did start to creep up. Um, so they decided to put him on the chemo. Now we had goo researched and stuff and some people get no side effects at all on the oral chemotherapy. It's called hydroxyurea. Some people get loads. Some people kind of get a variety. Some people have mild symptoms. It's just kind of varies from person to person. Anyway, Chris took his first dose yesterday and he was fine. And then all of a sudden he said he felt really poorly. Um, he took himself to bed and we shut the door and pretended to Sebastian that Chris, that Chris was at work that's kind of what we do we, we pretend he's not here because Chris can't really be around Sebastian he's there's too much energy Chris hasn't even got the energy to like pick him up so um so I was so upset and frustrated now of course it's the first dose so it's going to be a shock to his system he has gone vegan he's taken milk thistle he's taken aloe vera gel but none of it's kind of really making any difference at the moment I don't know if it's something that needs to kind of happen over time um so that's kind of really frustrating. So I ended up spending last night Googling everything under the sun, like you name it, I was Googling it. I found a forum, sorry, a blog where there was people on there from the UK. So I was like commenting and then I found a Facebook page, which, uh, or Facebook group for people with this condition. And it's just been amazing because there's hundreds of people on there and there's some people from the UK and um, it's just been really, really good um, for knowledge. So I did ask one lady and she like do the symptoms lesson and she said well she started on the lower dose which is 500 milligrams one tablet a day um, and she was kind of okay but she needed to increase the dose because she was having her platelets were going up so she went to 1000 milligrams a day which is what Chris is taking. And she said for two weeks she felt really, really unwell, but after two weeks she started to feel normal. So I'm really pinning my hopes, and it's silly of me to do this, or both of us are, pinning our hopes on the fact that as time goes on, the symptoms will start to improve. And then as his platelets go down, maybe he'll be able to cut down to like one tablet a day. Okay. Now, I then read, again, somebody else saying, um, there's two different types of gene mutation that this cancer holds. There's JAK2 and CALAR. Now, JAK2 is the most common one, but it's the most aggressive one, and CALAR is the less common one but it's the least aggressive one and that's the one that Chris has now she said that even though her platelets in the 1.5 million range she is unmedicated other than taking an aspirin a day because apparently if you don't have any thrombotic kind of episodes such as blood clots and strokes and um, heart attacks and things like that if you've not had any of those then you, and you're quite young as well then you don't need to be medicated so However, Chris then, I mentioned this to Chris and he said, well, when he, when his platelets were high, he was really ill. So he did get kind of, he was fatigued and he had bone pain. And I think that's something he's just going to have to live with and just manage through pain management and, um, you know, exercise and things like that. But he was getting kind of fluey symptoms and bouts of sickness a lot. Um, also, um, the bladder tumour, uh, tumours cause high platelets. So 
when they took his blood then they missed the the diagnosis i think because they assumed that his platelets were high because he had the tumor when actually it was probably the illness so he's had this illness for years but it's gone untreated had it been treated earlier he wouldn't have had these perhaps aggressive symptoms and wouldn't have to be so aggressively treated now so um somebody put me in touch with a doctor professor harrison in uh doc in guy st thomas um hospital in london she's like one of the specialists in this condition and um she did say we could be referred she emailed me straight away i emailed her this morning um i'm still waiting on a, a reply as to whether he can go unmedicated but of course she needs to know his history i'm going to see if maybe we can sort out a phone consultation chris doesn't really want to go traveling down there but you know um which frustrates me because if it was me I'd be like yeah I'll go down like you know you kind of want to like go and see anyone or anything when you've got a condition like this but first he wants to give the chemo a go and just kind of see how that goes so um all your prayers and wishes and best wishes and stuff would be great because he needs all the strength he can get right now he's missing out on time again with Sebastian he's barely seen him in the last two days because he's been locked away so um yeah so that's not good um He's in nursery today. Chris has got an appointment as well on Friday to have further investigations on his digestive system. Um, and he will have to be sedated for that. Um, and we're really praying that it's nothing sinister. Our worst fears are that there's tumours and that the tumours are what's causing the high platelet, blood platelets to go up again, even though the cancer does that, but still. Um, or it's Senate or something else. So we're really, really nervous. We're really, really scared. So please, again, best thoughts, best wishes. Um, and yeah, it's just, uh, it's just been exhausting. But we're trying to keep as positive as possible. There's so many things we read about people with this condition who go on and live like normal, healthy, long lives. But like, then I read somebody else who's like just at the end of her tether. She's been on interferon for nearly five years and she's literally about to kill herself. Like she's such in such a bad place. She can't carry on living like this anymore. And I really don't want Chris to get to that stage. I want him to manage, you know, um, I just wish there was some cure or something. I don't know. But um, anyway, so there's that. So that's Chris that's what's happening and I will keep you updated oh and another thing that he is going to do that he wants to do is we're going to do a Q&A with him here filming um with me and um so if there's any questions you want to ask him fire them away um respond below in the comments box it's going to be kind of things like kind of the lead up to his diagnosis how he felt how the, the cancer came about um what's you know things are just it could be anything you know what he enjoys just think general life things so any questions just ask but um yeah he will be on here doing a q and a and i guess i'll see you guys soon bye